The third principle is that it's a lab school dedicated to the understanding of children and advancement of the Montessori method. And so we explore things like putting video cameras in the ceiling and using image recognition algorithms to understand what each child is working on at, at each time. And then feeding that data into data visualizations that show what each child is working on during the day, during the month, and during the year. And so we can create software that's like an acupuncture for society that can unblock people's natural ability to heal their world. And what's interesting about the software that we created for these schools is that it's a self-limiting technology. It comes in and kickstarts a social process. But the software plays in foundational but ultimately limited role in the ecosystem that it fosters. Shoes in Detroit. What does this have to do with data? It can mean a lot if you are wildflower schools. They wanted to track activities within the classroom. This way, the school can better understand what activities are working and what the children like to do. We help them take their idea from concept to a fully developed product. This includes doing hardware, firmware, enclosures, and mobile and web applications to help bring the data to life. The shoes have a sensor right here. The tray also has a sensor right here. We use Bluetooth and an in-classroom network to make it work seamlessly. By creating new data, Wildflower schools can now have more insight into how to teach more effectively. At Lab 651, we make new things possible. All you need is an idea and maybe a pair of shoes and a tray.